Hello, and thank you for viewing this video from Heller Consulting. We help nonprofits select, implement, optimize, and grow their use of software to best support their missions and fundraising. The topic of this presentation is How is Salesforce Helping Nonprofits? We're going to be looking at two aspects in this video. The first is mission management, and later we'll look at fundraising. So, mission management can use a lot of different features within Salesforce, and fundamentally, what it is is helping you run the programs that serve your constituents and beneficiaries. It's really the heart of every organization's mission is its programs. Salesforce can really help you with this. You'll hear, see here there are various uh, features uh, that Salesforce has, such as working, managing constituents, working with partners, uh, events and volunteers, uh, providing metrics, automation of workflow, uh, measurement reporting, and all of these contribute to the management of the missions. And I, I'd like to take a few minutes here to look at some of the missions uh, as examples from some case studies. So here are four organizations we're going to take a look at. The first one, National Brain Tumor Society, uses Salesforce to manage their patient services. They receive calls from people who have received a diagnosis and who want information about that diagnosis. And within Salesforce, they can look up the best information to provide to a caller based on uh, the particular questions. Uh, then they can set up a workflow to make sure that that person is automatically delivered the information that they've asked for. They can provide referrals through a lookup system. Uh, and then uh, what's really interesting for them as well is while that's the core aspect of their mission, they also provide funding to uh, research agencies and they can manage those relationships and the research grant making process through Salesforce. Finally, for NBTS, they're additionally able to do their fundraising within Salesforce. And so for them, they really are using it fully as what's known as a CRM system or constituent relationship management system. But on the mission side, the system is serving them very well for patient services. For Pegasus Therapeutic Riding, they help uh, the disabled and physically, physically challenged to uh, ride horses. And to do this, they have to coordinate uh, horses, trainers, facilities, clients, and volunteers. And so they have all of those stored in Salesforce. And through that, they can do matching across those entities to put together the best combination of horse and rider and facility and timing and client and volunteer uh, to really make the program work smoothly. And before, they had been doing this in, on a series of FileMaker access data, databases, which was very, very labor intensive. Now, everything's in a single system across their multiple facilities, and they can allow their uh, end users and clientele to go online to register for particular times. Children's Hope Chest provides uh, a re helps make possible relationships between North American sponsors and orphanages in Russia and Africa. And using Salesforce, they can now uh, make available over the internet all the sponsorship opportunities that uh, they can broker. And so if you have an interest in sponsoring either, either an orphanage or a child within an orphanage, you can go online and their Salesforce system has published information about the individual children and about the orphanages. And right there, you can m set up a sponsorship relationship. And then once you've set up that relationship, the Salesforce can facilitate you maintaining that relationship. Uh, for example, maybe you want to send a letter via uh, the Salesforce system to a particular child and then that child wants to respond to you and s the Salesforce system can facilitate that. Finally, a fourth example, Usenix. Uh, they're an association of advanced computer users and technology specialists and they are running their membership program through that and also managing their annual conference. And their annual conference is quite complex uh, as it's a full-fledged learning opportunity with multiple educational tracks and a lot of logistics. And they're able to leverage Salesforce to manage that entire event, uh, as well as their day-to-day -day membership activities. In addition to managing their mission, many nonprofits are also using Salesforce to support their fundraising. Now, on Salesforce, there's a number of different ways that one can do fundraising. First is with the Salesforce native version. That means Salesforce without any special features or adornments. Uh, and this can be quite, quite useful. The next option is the nonprofit starter pack. And this is a special version of Salesforce created by the Salesforce Foundation that uh, makes the 
Salesforce environment just a little bit more nonprofit centric using some of the nonprofit nomenclature and also adding some features that are not part of the commercial version of Salesforce such as donations and households things that only nonprofits need and finally the app exchange offers a variety of applications that are very very useful for fundraising as a reminder the app exchange is where third-party companies can offer products that are built within or built on top of Salesforce to expand the experience. So let's take a look at one of those today uh, because we have some wonderful screenshots. This is from a product from Convio called Common Ground. And Convio uh, built a layer that goes on top of Salesforce and yet uses m much of the native Salesforce features and then adds things that are very specific to nonprofits such as, as you'll see here, individual giving summaries, uh, target ask amounts, uh, classifications uh, for, uh, for donors themselves, uh, custom fields for uh, deceased and age dates, things that we really need in fundraising. Beyond what they've done on the individual contact records, they've also created uh, reports and dashboards that are very very fundraising centric and they're leveraging the Salesforce tools here but they've put a uh, nonprofit specific cast to everything that is, really makes the Salesforce uh, platform so much more approachable right off the bat. So between uh, what's offered on mission management and fundraising, there's a tremendous amount that nonprofits are able to do with Salesforce these days. If you'd like more information, uh, please do give us a call. We're available at 510-841-4222, or you can get more information on our website at www.teamheller.com. We look forward to hearing from you and to supporting your mission.